Okay. Um, so we have this equation. Now, if we've proven the result here that this is a plane, if and only if d is zero, then uh, that this is a subspace, if and only if d equals zero, then we know that this is going to be a subspace, that the set of x, y, z values that satisfy this will constitute, can be interpreted as vectors, um, the form of plane. Okay? So, in the x, y plane, well, let's, what I asked people to do was everybody come up with some, some points, okay? at least a couple of points in on this plane. Okay, and then we're, I guess we need three points other than zero, 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 which is certainly on the plane. And we make vectors out of those three points, and then we ask a question about linear combinations of those vectors, okay? So, it's easy to get a point. Okay. Yeah, we could just pick x and y, any values we want for x and y, and then we can solve for z, and at that point we'll have a set of x, y, and z coordinates for a point that's on the line. So for example, if x is 1 and y is 1, you get 2 plus 3 plus z equals 0, so z is negative 5. That'd be 5 plus z equals 0, z equals negative 5. So the point 1, 1, negative 5 is one of our points. So I'll call that our vector v1. Now I did some stuff over here with i, j, and k components, and then I realized that we haven't done anything with i, j, and k components, so I'm just going to kind of cross all that out. That's coming up, um, and actually I think it was in assigned problems previously, so I think we actually have done it, but people weren't real familiar with it. We didn't have to use that, so we didn't. Okay, now other points in the plane. Well, I went a little further here, uh, but I did get points. If x is 0 and y equals 1, then z is negative 3, and that's not right, is it? z would be negative 2. How do I get 0, 1, negative 3? Oh, there's a flaw here. So um, I'm going to fix that and then I'll move on. 